Imagine being able to access a brand new YouTube feature that was push button simple that allowed you to gain more subscribers, to drive more views, to send more viewers to your associated website, to build a list. It's coming. It's a big freaking deal. Hey, it's me, Brian G. Welcome back. High five. In this video, I break down some best practices like how I intend to use that brand new end screen feature to really bolster my subscribers to drive more views, which as you know, cause you hang out on the channel, can help you to increase your rankings on YouTube, can help you drive more views and the cycle continues. Holy smokes, it's a big freaking deal. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson helping you to stake your claim, amplify your message, and inspire action. Like inspiring people to subscribe to your channel, inspiring someone to buy or to opt into your list, inspire action, and you'll win. I gotta tell you, I released that video on the brand new YouTube end screen. It ain't an end card. It's not a mobile annotation. It's an end screen, dig it. So how can you get the new end screen functionality? The first thing you wanna do is make sure that your account is YouTube partner level. Understand that as soon as you sign up and you have the ability to upload videos to YouTube does not mean that your account has the same functionality as everybody else's account. I've actually got a video on that. Now the video is based on getting YouTube thumbnails, but the process is the same in becoming a YouTube partner. Check it out in the YouTube card now. If you wanna get great results with YouTube, understand that you want people to act. You want them to do stuff. You want them to press the subscribe button. You want them to watch another video. And there are so many things you can do to ensure that happens. One of the easiest things is to make sure you make everything simple and clear. And you can do that with your end screen by not adding a thousand things. I've seen so many end screens that are like, make sure to follow me on Twitter and I'm on Instagram and don't, I'm on, uh, what's another one? Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook and subscribe. And it's too much. You ask for people to do a thousand things and they do nothing. So instead, keep it really simple and identify two things that you want to happen. For me, moving forward, that's gonna be one, opting into my list. I'm gonna build a list. The second thing I want to make sure happens is people subscribe. Those are only two things. And what I'm gonna do is design an end card that really helps people understand that they can do those things. And as I get to the end of my video, I'm gonna always promote subscribership on YouTube. So here's how to move forward. Understand that as you create an end screen, you've always got to include at least a playlist or a video. And why? Because YouTube wants to keep people on the site longer and they want people to watch more videos. So you're always gonna have to include one video or a playlist. After that, it's really your call. And for me personally, I'm always gonna focus on people subscribing to my channel. However, I'll also have a call to action that will offer people an ebook where I share the case study of my channel and some of the tremendous results I've been able to achieve. And I know that as people subscribe and watch my videos, they'll see that I'm offering a free ebook and they're gonna wanna access that ebook. I probably won't talk a lot about it. Instead, I'm verbally at the end of my videos, I'm gonna mention. Now, if you're new to the channel here, Brian G. Johnson TV, make sure you subscribe below. I got two hungry poodles at the house and when you subscribe, you'll feed one of them. So go ahead and click the subscribe button and I'll see you on another video, poof pixie dust. And that's actually pretty darn near the call to action that I'll be creating again and again. I'm going to be really playful with the poodles. And why would I do that? Because if all you talk about is kind of the same stuff that everybody else talks about, it's kind of boring. 
However, if I talk about being able to feed a poodle when you subscribe, well, people like that. You know, when you can make someone smile or laugh, when you can make someone just giggle a bit, that is powerful and it results in tremendous results. I've seen it in my channel, I've seen it in my book sales, I've seen it in my product sales again and again. So make someone laugh, be different, create a call of action that's different and you'll go far. So I hope you found this video to be helpful when you create those end screens. Just focus on a few things. Keep it simple, really identify what's your priority, and uh, create your end screen accordingly. I'm Brian G, and I'll see you next time. Poof! Feed a poodle and subscribe. Pixie dust.